Yeah, we continue our team coverage now with Kat Reed. And Kat, I know you are uh, at tonight's Walk for Community. What did you see there? Well, Kevin and Krista, I cannot emphasize enough that tonight it is not just the family of these four men who's mourning them. It is an entire community, and they came out tonight to honor the victims, to celebrate pride in Central Avenue, and to call for an end to violence. So let's walk together as sisters and brothers, as community. Let's walk for community. A silent march down Central Avenue, led by families in unimaginable pain. I see this stuff on TV all the time, and you know I pray for them people. And when I was walking down Central, I just I could not believe that it was one of my own. Four men whose deaths ripple through a close community centered around Tequila KC. These are family, these are friends, and they're people that's going to be missed. It's a tragedy, and it was something that we wouldn't have expected. We all hang together every day. Along a street known for its vibrant. Mexican culture and commerce, which the Central Avenue Betterment Association works to support. The group organized this walk for community. The main thing is to be able to look at people and say, we're together and we're okay and, and we're going to survive. And hopefully do much more than that. We shall not wait for anybody to come and save us. We should save ourselves working together. This is a good neighborhood that is full of good people who work hard every single day of their lives to make life better for themselves, their family, and the community. Good people taken unexpectedly. Leaving families with impossible conversations. We just know, told them that their daddy's an angel watching over them right now, and that hopefully everything will go well from that. Now, the Betterment Association says that the statistics they've seen show that violence is actually down along the Central Avenue corridor. They will continue to work on reducing crime and also celebrating the incredible culture that can be found here. Reporting live in KCK, Cat Reed, 41 Action News. Sunday's early morning shooting considered a mass shooting. The FBI defines a mass murder as four or more murdered during an event with no cooling off period between the murders. That means the victims have to be killed back to back in quick succession. Unfortunately, that happened Sunday morning. Again, police are still looking for this man. His name is Hugo Villanueva Morales. Police say he's armed and dangerous. If you know where he is, again, don't approach him, but call police.